Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Don Frost. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Everybody having some drinks? Woo! I'll tell you, drinking runs in my family. My mom can suck down a box of wine like a Capri Sun. <laughs> And it always makes me wonder about cops. Like, can you really get in trouble for drinking and driving in an RV? Think about it. A Winnebago, you're driving down the street, the cop pulls you over, you just stand up and run to the back and go to bed. <laughs> the cop is beating on the side of your motorhome, you just open up the door and look at him and be like, what the hell are you doing on my front lawn? God damn it. Tell you what, uh, recently I became a father, thank you. Uh, and I, it, it's funny to me because I feel it's like my God-given right to lie to my son, to send him out on the world with so much bullshit in his head. Like I was thinking that his first day of school, you know, the teacher will look at him and be like, does anyone in here know who Christopher Columbus is? And my son Benicio will stand up and be like, yep. It's that motherfucker that brought down the Twin Towers. <laughs> Just lie and lie. Because I've noticed like education doesn't happen anymore, especially with drinking. Take a look at the car bomb. The car bomb was invented because the Irish were blowing up the British and people don't know that. I've been in a bar where my friend is smacking the bar and the bartender's British and he's like, car bomb, car bomb. And, no, and the guy's looking and he won't get any service. And he's like, what's, what's wrong with these people? I'm like, dude, that's kind of the same way. Okay, if you think about it, if I walk into a VFW hall, order a Budweiser and a shot of sake, drop it in there and call it a Pearl Harbor. <laughs> I think people's hatred gets in ways uh, like all like complete with their politics. I mean, I, I feel that some people don't think when they get angry. And it, take example, I was uh, I was in Texas. If you've ever been to Texas, they <laughs> they're really against immigration for God's sake. Like they are still pissed about the Alamo. Just done with it. You know what I mean? And, so this guy had this truck, and this truck was giant, of course, and it had these stickers all over the truck, and you could tell this guy was so angry. His first sticker said, let's raise the fences, and I'm like, oh my god, it's going to be one of these guys. And then the second one was like, let's put piranhas in the river. I'm like, what? What a heart on that guy. You know what I mean? That guy just hugs you and then stabs you, and then... <laughs> The, the one that I couldn't believe, this is how you knew he was stupid, is he had the biggest one on his truck and it said, if you're going to be in my country, you better learn how to speak the language. I was like, what an idiot. Don't you think it'd be more effective if it was written in Spanish, for God's sake? <laughs> like, people are. They're like, man, I'm so angry, but I should have taken more than a minute to think of my bullshit, you know? <laughs> and it always makes me laugh. Like, you know, I feel that I've got a problem and I see things that just make me laugh hysterically. And today, I swear to God, I was driving down the street. I watched two guys push a hybrid Prius into a gas station. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm laughing hysterically. And the only thing I could think of, I rolled down my window and I just yelled sex offender. I don't know why I yelled sex offender. Like, I felt that that was appropriate. You know, like, it just to be like, dude, the guy just yelled sex offender. <laughs> I'll tell you, like, uh, to me, I love this town, but I think there's too many food carts. Like, do you notice, like, pretty soon I say, in like 20 years, this whole town is going to look like the slums of India. You know, it's going to be food cart after food cart, 
Like, and now they don't even know what they're selling. Like, I feel like I could open up a cart called Hot Dog in a Cup and I'd be on the Food Channel. <laughs> now, like, like, oh my God, that's genius. The guy is a genius. Uh, tomorrow, I want all of you to do this. I want you to go into a gun store, walk into the gun store, ask them to look at a pistol. Pick up the pistol, put it in your mouth. <laughs> then set it back down, look at the guy and be like, I don't like the way this one feels. <laughs> All right, my name's John Cross, thank you. <laughs>